My name is Serena and I'm currently a first year student studying economics. I come from Hong Kong and Malaysia, but I studied in an international school in Hong Kong for my entire life. This is Claycroft, which is my hall of residence. I live with seven other people and my flatmates are absolutely amazing. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of a day in the life video. So I'll be starting off in the morning with going to some lectures. I will be coming back to the flat and making a little bit of lunch. I have some society meetings later on and in the evening I'll also have some social events that I'll be bringing you guys along with. So come on, let's get to it. We're currently in the Oculus building and I'm just about to head into my first lecture, which is EC109 Microeconomics. This lecture is two hours long, but I really do enjoy it. I would also recommend getting a little bit of breakfast in just to keep yourself rejuvenated. So see you guys in two hours. Today, we had a guest lecturer join our class, Professor Wynne Morgan from the University of Sheffield. I found this lecture really engaging because we had just wrapped up an intensive seven week long syllabus on consumer theory, it is also interesting to be taught by guest lecturers because they provide a unique external approach to teaching that we might not have otherwise seen from staff at this university alone. I find the teaching in the Department of Economics very in-depth and thought-provoking, as it is truly a course that implores you to think outside of the box with your approach to both technical and discussion-based questions. The critical and analytical thinking skills that I have gained from this course are invaluable. Seminars in particular make me delve deeper into the knowledge that I have gained from lectures, allowing me to develop new perspectives and ideas on both theory and the real world. So it's already time for my next lecture, EC132, The Industrial Economy Strategy, which is over in the Zeeman building. I am really enjoying this optional module because we combine theories on topics like coordination, management, and innovation within a firm. The academic support provided by the department is strong with the availability of office hours and personal tutor meetings. I like that I can also explore lecture material with my seminar tutors. I find small group classes to be very conducive to in-depth discussions and debate on the concepts that I have learned, allowing me to challenge the boundaries of what I know. Phew, that was quite the long morning. So I've got a little bit of time before my society meeting, so I'm gonna walk back to my halls of residence at Claycroft and whip up some lunch. Claycroft is really good in terms of convenience because most of my lectures are held in the Oculus building, which is about a seven minute walk away from here. And when I want to go to the gym, I have to walk to the sports hub. It's nice to get a little bit of a warm up before you start working out. In Claycroft, you live with seven other people. In my flat, we have four girls and we have four boys and we all get along really well. One of my favorite parts of campus is the FEB building. The architecture is just so nice, a really nice place to go and study. There's a lot of communal spaces that you can work together with, which can be very beneficial for group projects or even just studying together with your course mates. I'm just about to head into a meeting for the Warwick Economic Summit Society with the Talks Division. I think that it is so important to be a part of societies because it helps to balance our academic and extracurricular life. I just came back from a couple of team meetings with the Warwick Economic Summit Society, but I'm also a part of the Hedge Fund Society. As an analyst for the Consumer and Retail Division, we have an Alpha X stock pitch coming up tomorrow evening, and I need to go and meet with my team so that we can finish up our presentation slides for tomorrow. I really like the fact that work is a campus uni because it means that everyone is so close to each other. I'm constantly interacting with people from other accommodations. We meet up at the Oculus and the FAB all the time to study. And this is the kind of experience that you might not be able to get if you were in a city university. The culture is so diverse here. I'm constantly interacting with people from 50 to 60 different nationalities, which is really amazing because you can interact with people from all kinds of backgrounds and cultures who have different perspectives on life. And it's definitely very insightful at the same time. So I've just come back from a meeting with my team with the Hedge Fund Society and I'm just getting ready to go out again. I think it's really nice just to come back to my kitchen. I can refresh a little bit, make some tea and have a little bit of food before I go out again. Tonight, my team in the Work Economic Society has booked out a private dining room and we're going to be having a hot pot dinner. I'm so excited because I haven't had food like this since I left Hong Kong. Hey guys, so I've just come back from dinner and I'm back in my room. It's currently 11 p.m. so I think I'm going to call it a day. I'm so happy that you guys got to follow along with me today throughout my journey and I really do hope that this gives you a little bit of an insight into the day and the life of an economic student at the University of Warwick. Bye!